I've just done a multi-track recording in the middle of a park and this, this little power bank has been all that's powered it. How good is that? In this video I'm going to walk you through recording with the Zoom LiveTrack L8 mixer and my favorite sneaky sneaky little tip that this mixer does which makes it so so good for doing live recordings anywhere and this runs on batteries or a power bank so let's go somewhere more interesting than this little studio. I basically just need my mic, lead, guitar lead, the zoom obviously, I need the handy power bank and for my sneaky little extra tip I'm going to take another lead and another mic and a pair of socks. So let's go. Man, the struggle with this gate is real. All right, this looks like a reasonably good spot. Let's set up. Just like these into the Zoom L8 and I'm good to go. Pretty simple to get going. I'm plugging its power unit into a USB source, turning it on and then plugging in my mic and guitar. What I love about the Zoom is that you set your gain levels and that's what records. No EQ, no effects. It, on the individual tracks you, for one and two, I just get my vocal and I just get my guitar. And on the master, I can record that as well where I'll get a mix of guitar and vocal. I will get the effects and I will get the EQ. So I can actually just record the master and I can play it back with some headphones on just to get a flavor and see how it's sounding. So I might just do that as a test run and then I'm gonna go through the sneaky little addition uh, that I just love for live shows that you can do with this desk. To record on the Zoom, you simply select which tracks you would like to record so that they're red. So that's my vocal, that's my guitar, and I'm gonna record the master as well. To start recording, we hit, make sure we're on the recorder screen, and then we hit the record button, so that's illuminated red, and then we hit play. And you'll see that it starts recording, and I can just check, I've got this channel, this channel, and the master. So I'm, I'm good to go, just doing a test run, and then I'm gonna play it back and check, and then we'll record. Stopping that hit stop that saved my recording now what I'm gonna do is hit the master just to play and I'm gonna plug some uh, headphones that I brought in just to have a listen so here we go gonna go back to the start of the track and then hit play okay it's too much reverb so let's just take that off the master I'm just listening to the master it's gonna give me enough indication that it's going to all work out so I think that'll be good. My one sneaky tip that I promised when doing this video is actually bring another microphone and what I love about this I can record this the individual channel of this microphone just for ambience ambiance um, and I can have it muted to the master so when I'm doing a live show, I can be recording another track from this microphone capturing the room that doesn't go into my speakers, it doesn't go into the main mix. And all I do is I set the levels for this microphone. Let's go with channel, channel three. So I'm gonna plug it in, I'm gonna set levels for it, and then once I've got that sorted, I'm actually gonna hit mute so it doesn't go to the main mix, but it still gets recorded onto the SD card, and this is magic when it comes to mixing later. One thing I should point out, this is a condenser microphone, and it does mean I have to have the 48 volts on all six of these channels. So if you've got a sensitive mic that you're using, be aware of that. Um, in most cases, 
you're probably fine. In case you're wondering what the reason for the uh, socks are, that's because it's a little bit breezy and I'm gonna put one over this condenser microphone to cut out a bit of wind noise. Beautiful. So I'm gonna move the condenser microphone out of my shot, set up a nice shot and record this. And then we'll go through and I'll show you the files that you get and a couple of options for mixing to make this nice and tasty. All tracks, um, we've got this guy muted. There was a boy a very strange enchanted boy They say he traveled very far Very far Instead of I But very wise was he Okay, that should do it. Uh, we've now got something to work with some audio so let's pack all this up head back to the studio and we will look at the audio what we've got it's pretty windy I've got a little wind sock on this mic I've got a, an actual sock on the condenser mic and let's see what we got back in the studio when you put the SD card in this is what you're gonna get project and sound pad we're gonna go into project you can name these but it's the very last one so I can just open this and you'll see there I've got the master track track 1, track 2 and track 3 and remember track 3 was that ambiance that's not part of the master track I didn't send it to the main output so if we want just track 1 we can just have a listen and just check so this is just the audio, just the vocal there was a boy a very strange enchanted boy Okay, track two is just the guitar Okay, all nice and clean and track three is this ambiance this It's just got a wind, bit of wind noise a bit of the environment that we're in Okay, and lastly, the master, now this, the master only has tracks one and two in it. None of that ambient mic because we muted it on the zoom. So, the master, also, I've had a listen to this. There's way too much reverb. I should have had a, a, a bit of a better listen um, initially. But, hey, it's, uh, you get the idea of how this works. Boy. A very strange enchanted boy They say he traveled very far Very far Okay, so what I could do is I could actually just mix the volume of each of those and use the master uh, as the, the reverb tail, that, <laughs> if you like um, Just how much of the master I put in de will determine how much reverb appears to be there even though there's a lot on that track so uh, let's do that as a starting point so let's import those files into Final Cut and we'll line them all up with the video and then to start with we're just going to adjust the volume levels and see what kind of mix we get one thing we can do really easily in Final Cut is actually make this a multicam track so we're going to select these and we're going to select the video I did and do new multicam clip uh, nature boy zoom live track demo we use the audio for synchronization we'll see what happens it looks like it's all in time there was a boy a very strange enchanted boy so the beauty of this and this is amazing I can actually mix this right now and it's 
in a strange way a blessing that there's too much reverb on the master because it actually means that I don't need to do any other tweaking if I don't want to. So let's just go through. Uh, let's take out the video audio. For now, let's take out the master down to zero. And let's take out track three is that other microphone. So track one is the vocal. Let's just rename it to make it simple. Track two is the guitar. So we just want to get a balance between these two to start with. They say he traveled very far, very far, over land and sea. Okay, that's actually pretty good. So let's increase the master. Of I, but very wise was he. So now I've increased the okay, master. That should do it. Let's go back just a little bit. I think that's going to be enough reverb actually on that track. Over land and sea, a little shy and sad of I. <laughs> it might even, it might even be too much. We might bring that down to maybe minus minus eleven. Let's see. Over land and sea. Okay, and now the last thing I want to do is I want to bring in that track three, that mic that's just sitting off to the side, capturing the field and all of that as well. So let's just bring that up from here. There was a boy. Great. Okay. There was a boy. A very strange enchanted boy. They say he traveled very far, very far, over land and sea. A little shy and sad of I, but very... Okay, so it's super subtle, but it just puts us back in that space of we're actually in the park. Don't you think? Be wise was he. Okay, the last thing that's left to do is just raise that level up to a standard level so that when someone watches our video of us performing, it's they don't have to turn their volume up a whole lot. And we might just tweak the look of this video a little bit just for fun. And this is what we get. There was a boy, a very strange enchanted boy. They say he traveled very far, very far. Over land and sea, a little shy and sad of I, but very wise was he. So I hope you've enjoyed this. It didn't turn out quite as I'd planned, um, but maybe it's kind of interesting using that master with too much reverb to mix and edit, rather than obviously you could mix this in Logic or in whatever tracking software you have and you could apply any effects and EQ and compression and all sorts to make it fancier and do as you wish. Uh, that's entirely up to you. But maybe this is something just a little bit different and uh, at least you get to see the tracks and, and how the L8 works if you're thinking of getting one or if you've got one or maybe it's some ideas on recording and mixing with whatever it is that you use. So uh, just watching, see you in the next one.